Hi, I'm Claudia and today we're going to make homemade pizza from scratch. We're going to make our own dough and then we'll choose our toppings. So we will need for our base, we will need 250 grams of strong flour. We need 200 milliliters of warm water. It needs to be warm to the touch, not too hot. Otherwise it will kill off the yeast. Then we have two teaspoons of yeast, fast acting yeast. We've got two tablespoons of olive oil and one teaspoon of salt. This is what we need to make our dough. For the toppings, we will need some tomato passata or chopped tin tomatoes and some sort of cheese. I've got grated cheddar cheese here. You could use mozzarella. You could use a mixture of two cheeses. You could even use for example, mozzarella and then some blue cheese on top or some other type of cheese. And for the toppings we are going to use today, some red peppers and some red onions. So our first step is to make sure that our yeast is working properly. We're going to put our yeast into a bowl with a bit of flour, one or two tablespoons from our flour. And then we're going to mix this going to mix this through a little bit and now we're going to leave it like this for about 10 minutes to see if the yeast is working if the yeast is working we will start seeing some bubbles coming up excellent so it's now 10 minutes later we're first going to turn on the oven at 250 now we've waited for 10 minutes our yeast has been activated all we have to do now is mix all our dough ingredients so in the middle of the flour. Okay, we're going to knead our dough for about five to 10 minutes. Excellent, so after a little while of kneading, you will see the dough change into a much smoother dough. That is when it's ready, you're ready to stop. Form it into a little bowl, put it back into the bowl. And now we're going to cover it with a wet cloth or with some clean film. And we need to leave it here until it doubles in size. This could take one hour to two hours. It depends on how room the how hot the room is. So we've left it to rise. We've left the dough to rise for about an hour. Probably another hour would have been better. And we're going to knead it again. It's going to be a bit softer than it was before because of all the bubbles. So we need it one more time. See the little bubbles coming out there. Excellent. And now we are going to divide this into two pieces. So we are going to make today a thin based pizza because it's healthier, the proportion of carbohydrates to vegetables to dairy. It's a bit healthier if you do a thin based pizza. Also it cooks super quick and you can get more out of what you've got. We are going to start on a baking sheet We're going to use a bit of our tomato sauce. We're going to put a cheese, like I said, we've got cheddar cheese here. And now we're going to go on putting our toppings. Like I said, we have onion and peppers. A few peppers. And now this is going to go on the baking tray into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes at 250. See how easy we can take it from our working station onto the tray. Let's go. It's been 10 minutes and the pizza looks ready. Let's go get it. Ta-da! Scrape it off with the paper. Like I said, it's very simple if you've got the baking paper underneath and now you could take your next pizza, put it back on in the oven. That would probably take less than this, probably eight minutes. 